In this problem, we have to find the limit of this expression here. So the first thing you should always try when you're finding limits is to take this number and then just plug it in for your x and see what happens. So if we do that, we'll get 1 cubed minus 1 divided by 4 times 1 cubed minus 1 minus 3. So it'll be 1 minus 1, which is 0, over and then 4 minus 4, which is also 0. So this is called an indeterminate form, and this one in particular is special. So whenever you get one that looks like this, 0 over 0, you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule basically says whenever you have 0 over 0, or infinity over infinity, you rewrite your limit like this, and you just take the derivative of each piece. So the derivative of x cubed minus 1, well that's pretty easy, use the power rule on x cubed, That'll give us 3x squared, right? You bring down the 3 and then subtract 1. And then the derivative of negative 1 is 0. Over, down here we just multiply the 3 and the 4. That gives us 12. Subtract 1 from the exponent, so 12x squared. And then the derivative of x is 1, so minus 1. And then the derivative of 3 is 0. At this point, it appears that we can actually plug in 1 safely, and, uh, you know, it'll work. It'll work. So plug in the 1, and when you do that, you drop the limit sign. So 3 times 1 squared over 12 times 1 squared minus 1. So that's going to be 3 over 12 minus 1. So that's equal to 3 over 11, and that would be your final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.